Traveling back to the dusty trails of history, we read about the times when the earth was overburdened by the rule of ruthless despots who were driven by insatiable greed for power and wealth. Anyone who stood in their way fell under their sword and chaos and injustice prevailed. Overwhelmed by the torment and pain, Mother Earth sought the help of Brahma, who creates the material universes on the order of the Supreme Lord. Along with the other demigods in charge of managing the different aspects of the material world, Brahma approached the Supreme Lord and offered prayers unto him. My dear devotees, I have heard your prayers. It is time for me to appear upon the earth to protect the good and destroy the evil. Do not fear. I shall free you of your burdens. Krishna, what took you so long, son? I just couldn't coax Hamsi away from her mother today. I'm sure she's drunk up all her milk. Not again, Hamsi. Soon you'll beat Krishna at it. Be careful, my darling. I'll be waiting all day to see you before sunset. Hmm? Krishna, oh Krishna, I've got something for you, my little angel. You didn't pack that in my bag. Did you, Mother? No, no, not for you, Madhu. These special rasgullas steeped in rose-scented sweet syrup are Krishna's favorite and they're only for him. Go on now, I've already given you your lunch basket. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Oh, Komala, you must give some to Madhu too. That's right. Listen to her, mother. Oh, my beautiful bumblebee. You're some of my best Sundays. And just the way you like it. So fluffy and soft, they'll just melt in your mouth. Krishna, my lovely blue lotus. I've got you. That's enough pampering for one day, Krishna. Now run along and see that you share your gifts with your friends. I will, mother. You are so kind to me. Thank you for all the goodies. Yashoda, your Krishna is so special. Look at the way he plays his flute and gets all our boys to dance like butterflies. He charms me every morning that I see him. And I can't get his look to size and sweet smile out of my mind the whole day. Champa's right. <sighs> oh, Yashoda, sometimes we forget our own boys. Lost in sweet thoughts of your little Krishna. You are so fortunate, Yashoda. I really wish Krishna were my own little boy. Me, Me too. too. Oh Lord, I have told you everything as I have seen it. This little boy Krishna certainly must be the supreme person. Bhanu, I am in charge of conducting the material creation. And I know my master, the supreme lord Vishnu. Surely he finds no need to give up his abode in Vaikuntha and choose to live among the simple villagers of Vrindavan. Pardon me, my lord Brahma, but is there anyone else who can defy the powerful laws of material nature? This very morning, he killed the vicious demon Aghasura. Ah, is that right? I am not bewildered, Bhanu. There is nothing about the Supreme Lord that I do not know. As a responsible servitor, I make it a point to be informed of his transcendental activities. Hence, I believe this is the feat of a very powerful magician. Nevertheless, I must make sure who he is before he bewilders the innocent humans. Yes, my lord. Hmm. It is about time I dealt with this myself. I shall descend upon the earth into the village of Vrindavan where he lives. You will accompany me, Bhanu. Yes, my lord. My dear little friends, I'm as 
happy to see you as you are to see me. There's no place like the beautiful forest of Vrindavan. I love these forests too, Krishna. And do we ever get hungry around your daddy? <laughs> That's the end of the fruit, the monkey, and the greedy boy. <laughs> So, this is where the blue boy hides, lost in play and pranks. Where then does all the magic lie? What kind of magic can this little cowherd make? The kind that can do this. This is the python Krishna killed this morning. How can he Bhanu. not... Bhanu! Oh, Bhanu! Why are you so flustered? I have an idea. Yes, yes, my lord. But I fear we have a very clever wizard to deal with. Have you forgotten that the lord has given me charge of the greatest task in the universe? Can Brahma not find out the secret of this little magician's tricks? Come close. Tamsi, eat up so you will become a great big cow someday and give lots of sweet milk for Krishna and Balram. I have the best samosas today. There's enough for you too. Mm. Oh Krishna, look at this snowy white rasgullas my mother sent. Please take some. Hmm? Mm. My mother sent me lovely little kachoris. She told me to share them with you. Mm -hmm. Oh Krishna, I have your favorite rose sandesh. Hmm. Please take some. And now, my beloved friends, look what I've got. The sweetest, the most fragrant. Mango Shikhand. And Mother has packed enough for all of you. Krishna! Krishna! I can't find the calves. I've looked for them everywhere. Come on, Subala. Sit down. You haven't even had your lunch. I'll take care of it, Subala. They must have wandered into the forest. Just sit down and eat. All of you stay here. I'll be back with the calves. Anywhere. I think I need your help. Huh? 
मधु श्रीधाम चारू सुबला वेर आर यू ऑल Wishes to play with me. I have appeared on the earth on your call, and now even you are really bewildered. Subala, Madhu. Have you seen my son yet? Krishna and the boys have not returned. They should have returned hours ago. It is already late, and these mothers are anxious about their sons. I shall not allow this trick of Brahma to break the hearts of these mothers. The dear mothers of Vrindavan love me so much; they have longed to have me as their son, and the cows of Vrindavan love me even more than their calves. I shall give them all the chance they are waiting for. I shall fulfill their pure desire. Does my darling Subala? Oh, Yashoda, how bright all the boys look! They appear very special this evening, almost like Krishna himself. You're right. There is some magic in the air. <laughs> And so, as Krishna continued to manifest himself in place of his missing friends. The days passed happily, as did the seasons. And while Brahma kept the cowherd boys and calves hidden in dreamland, Krishna kept the parents of Vrindavan filled with joy, and the cows filled with milk for their beloved calves. The villagers could not see the cause of their constant bliss. The truth was that every home had Krishna, and every barn too. Krishna was everywhere. Yashoda, there is an amazing sense of happiness in Vrindavan these days. That's so true, my lord. I don't hear anyone complaining. Fathers and mothers are so happy with their children. As for the cows. The milkmen have a hard time taking their calves away from them. Their love for the calves seems to overflow. I feel so happy to see the mothers' eyes light up magically with great affection for their sons, just the same way I feel for Krishna. I've wondered what special magic spell I'm under when I'm with Krishna. Now I see that happen with all of them too. That's it, magic spell. That's what Vrindavan seems to be under. Hmm, a magic spell. Oh, Krishna, I know it's you. 
Oh Lord, how have I got myself into this fix? Already one year has passed on earth. Let me go to Vrindavan and find out what Krishna is up to, having lost the boys and calves. <laughs> How can this be? The cowherd boys are asleep in the clouds and the calves hidden away in the happy dreamland. <laughs> How can they all be here playing with Krishna? What is this? And how is my lord fishing? I am Brahma. Who are all these Brahmas? What what is going on? Oh lord, what is going on? My lord, <laughs> my lord, my lord, what have I done? What have I done? Forgive me, my dear lord. Chatur Mukha Brahma, I am here to answer your prayer as I had promised. Alas, even such a powerful person as yourself has fallen into illusion and forgotten the absolute truth. I know you are my devotee and have no envy in your heart for me. So, I have made this elaborate arrangement to teach you the entire truth. Behold, I have summoned Brahmas of different universes so you may understand the complete truth about yourself. Of the thousands of universes, you are in charge of just one. There are bigger universes than yours and Brahma is more powerful than yourself. Things are much bigger and more complex than you can possibly imagine. My Lord. I am an insignificant glow worm before you, whose brilliance is more than a thousand suns. But how is it that your simple friends of Vrindavan are not bewildered by your great feats? They just adore you as their darling boy. Their love is pure and intense, Brahma. Whatever I do, however small or big, they simply love me. I cannot be understood simply by Vedic knowledge or yogic meditation. I can be understood only by love and devotion. O oh Krishna, origin of all Vishnus, O oh Master, please forgive my grave offence. You have mercifully revealed yourself to me and I am eternally grateful to you. May I always remember and cherish you in this beautiful boyish form, playing with your friends and calves and remember what a big fool I have been. to return home. Krishna, I had the strangest dream. Me too. That's what happens when you sleep all afternoon with bellies full of goodies. Uh, it seems like we've slept for a whole year. Yes, sometimes telling the time can be very difficult. Oh, 
Krishna, what has happened? Who broke the magic spell? Dear mother, what are you talking about? Spells? I'm just your little boy, not a magician. Krishna. <laughs>